Hey all again, this is sort of the third and final update on, or hopefully up final, update on my uh, 10 watt LED fiber scope light. So here's my microscope on its stand. Um, after much consideration of how to mount the light and heat sink, you know, I was considering little boxes so it could sit on my bench, you know, and trying to figure out how to get air through it and not have stuff dump into the fan. It dawned on me that I could make a little bracket and just have it slide over this post that my scope sits on. Um, typically I leave the scope at this height. I may move it up a few inches or down, but there is plenty of post for how the range that I use my scope in. So as you can see, the light source just sort of goes for a ride with the scope. And there's plenty of whip here that I can sit there and articulate the end without kinking the, uh, the fiber. Um, when in this position, I can access the, the focus knob pretty easy. So, yeah, it's a little goofy and floppy, but works good for my application. Um, again, for those who just found these videos, this is, behind this custom machine block is a 10-watt LED. This little card here is the LED driver card, and from my previous posts, I thought I didn't need to have a fan on it. Well, after running the light for about a half hour, this heat sink did start getting warm, you know, really warm to the touch. It wasn't hot, burning hot, but it was warmer than I wanted, so I decided to go ahead and add a fan. Um, on this little pin strip here on the card, there's one pin that's just a toggle on off. When the light is on, the IO is high. When the light's off, the IO is low. This fan running at 12 volts is a screamer. Um, I, this is sort of an odd sized fan, so I couldn't find a quieter one that in my junk box to replace it with. So instead what I did is I created a second output on this pin strip, which is PWM. So for light levels 0 through 5, it's like 25%, and then level 5 through full, it's at 50% PWM duty cycle. So again, if you push both buttons, you go to full brightness, push both buttons again, you go off, then you got step up and step down through 10 levels of uh, brightness. And right there you can hear there's the high speed and there's low speed. So again, this all can be adjusted through software on the micro, but you know, this isn't putting a whole lot of air out in this at this speed and you know, the heat sink now stays ice cool no matter how long I let it run. So, oops. Again, move it, flex it, focus. I'm going to call this project done other than I want to find a finger guard for the, the fan. Again, it's an oddball size, so I'm hoping I can find, you know, the next normal size bigger and just redrill the holes in it. I just haven't haven't sat down and done that yet. And there you have it. 